Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Tone 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is Tuesday morning uh, after the Memorial Day weekend here. Thought we'd real quick uh, recap May 2019. Uh, this is uh, mostly in the books, uh, but a little bit of forecast here to round out the month. But overall, it looks like uh, May is going to end up for the nation as a whole about 4.8 degrees colder than last year nationally. Uh, 14th warmest in 30 years and uh, again just a tad below average so about an average month if you average out the colder conditions in the southwest plains upper midwest upper new england and uh, the really hot conditions obviously along the southeast coast uh, nationally again same old trend number one wettest in 30 years 34 percent above average so a uh, um, generally cooler wetter stormy month to say the least and uh, stormy to say the least for sure we look at uh, even have to utter that s word again <clears throat> unfortunately about 7.3 percent of the country still had snow on the ground uh, last week at about 25 inches over two feet in uh, western south dakota and in fact even here this week we've had some snow uh, just outside los angeles uh, up above 6,000 feet in the mountains so it's a uh, crazy snow out there um, again way above the average snow cover uh, for this point in the season only about 2.7 would be considered average and again we're at 7.3 here as of uh, last week the other thing that's really quickly getting above average here is uh, tornadic activity. This is through uh, last week, uh, through the 24th, so this is even exponentially more here after the weekend storms, but uh, well over 700 tornadoes, and that's getting us into the 80 percentile of uh, uh, above average. So we're way above average here, um, as expected. We hinted at this back in our spring video updates. Unfortunately, here today we got more severe weather in the in the plains and the typical tornado alley. Uh, maybe some enhanced activity up here in our area in Pennsylvania, but um, again, the real threat's going to be down in the tornado uh, alley area here the next uh, couple days. If we look at uh, the other thing that was unusual last week is the not terribly unusual actually is to get an early tropical system. Uh, this only lasted about one day, but uh, subtropical storm Andrea. Uh, formed uh, south of Bermuda and uh, pretty much disintegrated within about a day. So it, uh, kind of a frustrating storm uh, to give it a name, but uh, again, it officially, according to the Hurricane Center, was the uh, first uh, tropical system of the season. Look at this week one outlook, which takes us into the Monday next week. Uh, overall, a little bit cooler than last year, uh, ninth warmest in 30 years nationally. Uh, still got that hot trend in the southeast, starting to erode it a bit here. Uh, a little bit cooler in New England and the Great Lakes. Uh, not as cool in the southwest as they've been. Uh, a little drier than last year nationally, 14th wettest in 30 years. Um, jump ahead here to week two as we get into that first week of June. Again, cooler in the northeast, maybe a, a warm up in the plains in the northwest. We'll see. Euro's a little bit cooler than this, but uh, this would suggest the coolest in five years. Still 11th warmest in 30 years nationally. Wettest in six years and third wettest in 30 years. So hopefully that rain does uh, move into the southeast. They could certainly use it after the extreme heat wave here they had this past week. Uh, was a look at the trends here. Um, spring temperatures since March 1st. Again, these are trends versus average on a national scale. So it had been trending pretty cold here since uh, about 426, April 26th. Uh, we got lucky here this uh, Memorial Day weekend. Actually had uh, four days in a row of above average national temperatures. So I haven't said that for quite some time uh, after a pretty cool May uh, for the U.S. overall. We look at these trends versus last year, pretty different story here. Uh, 33 straight days now uh, with the U.S. trending colder than last year, and 22 of the next 25 days actually look to continue that cooler trend. Um, so again, we're going to have a pretty long stretch, stretch here of uh, nation trending colder year over year, day after day after day. Uh, so just not seeing that really, really hot pattern just yet, except for the folks that are probably in the southeast that have already experienced some heat uh, so far this season. A uh, little <clears throat> under the weather here this past week. Uh, spent much of it in the hospital here. Uh, you, you learn uh, some less life lessons when you're you're sitting in a hospital bed looking out the window. That uh, sometimes your you know your pain may seem excruciating at the time, but um, you know then having it happen on Memorial Day weekend was kind of a blessing because you get to remember that uh, you know what there's a lot of folks that have had a lot more pain and uh, everlasting pain. So uh, it was good that uh, the minor ailment I had for the week in, in the hospital. Um, uh, happen on Memorial Day, so you could at least uh, remember that there's a lot of folks out there have given much more of a sacrifice and suffering even today with lost loved ones. <clears throat> so with that, folks, uh, again, uh, we will be back here a little early next week, uh, back on time uh, Monday next week. So have a great week, and we will talk to you soon.